you have a book titled Stop Fighting Cancer and Start Treating the Cause. There's so many things out there that we hear are potential causes of cancer. How do you start trying to find that in a patient? Well, there are so many potential causes. Just about everything you can think of can be a cause of cancer. Right. So you think of just from a physiological standpoint, anything that gets inside the cell that can disrupt the replication cycle can be a cause, can be a cause for cancer in that person. Mm -hmm. So um, the studies that are currently done on causes for cancer are all post-mortem. So unless it's a mouse study where they're, you know, giving the mouse all, you know, grilled foods or something like that, and then they say, no, grilled foods are a cause of cancer, and it can be. But um, the way I test is with kinesiology. So we test for the cause of cancer. And no test is going to be perfect. And there's never just one cause. I mean, mm -hmm. there's multiple causes. But knowing what that is is helpful mm -hmm. when you're going to treat a patient. Is it harder to find that in kids when they haven't been around and been exposed to as many things as, say, you and I? No, it's not any harder to find out what that is. You're not going to most likely get, you know, I don't have enough child patients to know mm -hmm. that, that, but you'll get more um, uh, toxicity-related causes. Now when we start to look at genetics, um, it's quite interesting because um, uh, a mother and a father are going to have a baby and they hand down their genetic defects to that child. And if the child has genetic defects on detoxification pathways, and that's the whole argument of do vaccines cause autism kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, if vaccines by themselves cause autism, then everybody who gets vaccinated is going to have autism. But if a person is exposed to the adjuvants in a vaccine, like all little babies are, and they have defects on detox pathways that are supposed to get rid of those things, they are going to be what are termed slow detoxers. So if they're slow detoxers, that chemical is going to circulate again and it's circulate again and circulate again, and it's going to settle somewhere if it can't get out the liver detox pathway. So if that child has defects on those pathways, it could, the child has no blood-brain barrier. It certainly can settle in the brain and cause autism, but it can settle elsewhere and not cause autism. So, okay, vaccines didn't cause autism, but then they end up causing cancer 20 years later. Mm -hmm. So um, it's our exposure to chemicals. Um, combine that with our inability to get rid of them, looking at detox pathways, um, equals our level of toxicity. And that can cause all sorts of things. And mm -hmm. cancer is just one of them.